Which guys got another video here for you. This one's on virus removal, and uh, what we're going to do is we've infected this uh, Windows XP system here. It's got zero access on there, also rootkit and uh, rogues and, and all sorts of uh, trojans and stuff like that on the system. Now we are actually at the desktop at the moment, uh, but what tends to happen is sometimes when you reboot, you get a black screen, or you get blue screens uh, when you try to get safe mode and stuff. And I'm going to show you how we can get around this. So basically this is infected already. Now this does work on Vista XP and Windows 7 and uh, you've got to be a bit careful. Now we can't run, uh, run any applications as you can see. They're pretty much all blocked out and that's uh, because zero access is on the system. So what we're going to do is reboot the system and see what happens. Now we're going to try and get into safe mode. And there we have, as you can see, a black screen. Uh, what's happened is we've got rootkit on the system. It's now not letting us reboot at all. So what's happened is this is tend to, tends to happen with rootkits on the system. You do a shutdown or it forces a shutdown for you and then you get a black screen. So now we need to remove the master boot record rootkit and then also some uh, zero access and some other Trojans and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is um, remove this first. Now I'm going to use a Windows CD or recovery CD to remove this. So let me reboot that machine into the recovery console. Okay so I want to push any key here to enter the recovery console. I'm just going to let this load up. Now you do the same thing for Windows 7 or Vista except you'll be using their recovery CD and you'll be doing the same sort of thing really but a slightly different uh, command. You'll be using the boot rec command. So what I want to do for XP here is I want to push R on the keyboard. And I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times before. And so what we're going to do is choose our operating system that's infected. In this case there's only one on here so I'm going to click 1, enter. There is no password for me so I'm going to push enter. Now what I want to do here is fix MBR. It's going to give me a caution warning and that's because it, we're overwriting the master boot record. I'm going to say Y for yes here. Now we want to do fix boot. And again, it's going to give me a warning. I'm going to say yes, Y for yes. Now we're going to exit out of here and try to reboot the system back to the desktop so we can do some scans with some software. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get the system to boot now. Now we've removed that rootkit. Now we're still going to have a load of issues to deal with because we've now got an infection still on the system. We've got numerous infections. We've got uh, rogues on the system, also zero access. This stops everything from running. You can't run anything like Decent or anything like that. Rename it. It just doesn't work. You won't be able to do that from this environment. As you can see, still doesn't run. I've tried all these, it don't don't work. The problem with these now they're getting smarter. You try and do the run bar trick where you can do a direct download link even. And that's the direct download link and basically nothing's going to happen there it gets stopped so you may want to try to get on the internet and you won't get around it and even if you type that link direct link up here it just doesn't download it won't download the file it stops it and you're getting this issue so now what do we do we can try safe mode so let's reboot into safe mode Okay, so I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard. Try safe mobile networking. And we've got a blue screen. So that means now we can't use this either. So now we're in a bit of a pickle. So what we're going to do is use a live CD and boot to the live CD and remove that process. So let's boot to a live CD. Now any live CD you do, I'm just going to boot into Hiram's Boot CD Mini Win XP. You can use whatever you like. Any live CDs will do. Puppy Linux, anything like that.
OK. So we're here. All we need to do now is I'm going to check out the uh, C, C drive. I'm going to have a quick look around. Okay, that's another. It's going to manually remove this stuff from the system. Okay, I'm going to remove all this stuff. Okay, so you can see here, this is our rogue, and this file here as well is another file that we need to remove. It's a system file. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so what we want to do now, we've cleaned that off. I'm going to come back here. We've done the temp file. Let's go back. I'm going to go into all users here and then app data and as you can see we've got some stuff in here that we need to remove as well and there is the other part of uh, Fortress uh, Rogue there we need to remove that now this is a common thing that people do is they leave this behind and uh, it will recreate itself so we need to make sure we remove that and I want to get rid of that Babylon as well And there's some other bits and pieces here as you can see. Let me get rid of these. All these are malicious. All these files are malicious files. Okay, well, one more area I wanted to go to was Windows and there was this folder here which was the access denied part and we need to sort this out and we can sort that out once we get back to um, the desktop you can't remove this you see because the file is protected and that's uh, zero access and we'll sort this out in a sec okay so let's uh, try one last place system 32 just want to make sure that think it's good here I'm going to click on date modified bring this down and then I can see something there that needs to come out And there's another file here I can see executable file and I don't want to go too mad in here I'll just uh, leave some of this stuff I can deal with some of this once I get back into uh, Windows there and I can have a look proper look okay so this uh, exit out of this and reboot the system at back into Windows and see if we can run some scans to remove all the other stuff I'm just going to quickly reboot here. Okay, we're back at the desktop now. As you can see, everything seems to be running a lot more smoother. And that's the beauty of those live environments. But you must know what you're doing in there. You can't go deleting stuff. I've been doing it for a long time, so I get used to seeing stuff that's uh, not meant to be there but um, as I said we can now tidy up some of this slow area here 
and we're clicking on any of this stuff. Now there is stuff still on the uh, system. And the first thing I want to do is uh, run TDSS killer. There's nothing in there, that's good. Next thing I want to do is run malware bytes. Always update if you can. And we seem to be getting internet access now by the looks of it, which is good. Okay, so we've got 40 infections there. Pretty nasty stuff, as you can see. Um, some real nasties there. We're going to be removing those from the system. So we're going to remove all this stuff. And I'm going to keep these log files on the desktop here. So I know what I'm removing. I'm going to do a quick reboot here. Okay, so we're back at the desktop. Okay, the next one on my list to run, I'm going to run it Man Pro. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this stuff anyway. I've got Bootstrap there as well. We, you can see here afd.sys and uh, TDSS killer skip that file so it's always important to use other software as well as you can see and uh, and that's part of the zero access and that's what's stopping us from uh, removing that folder inside the Windows directory there as soon as we sort this out we should be good to go with that okay we need to do a quick reboot here I'm also going to do a quick update on Super Andy Spyware, give that a blast. Do a quick scan with this one. Okay, so we've got five infections. Okay, we're going to remove these. Quick reboot again.
Okay, so we're back at the desktop. And I just wanted to give this a quick blast with Hitman Pro again, just to make sure that zero access is not there. Okay, that's all good. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're doing here. We're pretty much in good shape now. You can see we're back up and running, I and mean, everything's going good. I've still got this problem here with this file. You can't delete it. it won't let us delete this file. And we're gonna use D7 for that. Okay, so I've took the liberty of downloading D7 already, and uh, let me see here. We're gonna run this D7 program, and this is a free program. Just close that off. Okay, we go to malware tab here. I'm gonna try and. Now he's all rod up, so they're okay. But what does interest me is this NTFS junctions. I'm going to scan for this. And as you can see, there's that file there. This is the actual file that we wanted to remove, or the folder. And I'm going to destroy that. And uh, we can delete this or look inside. Now, inside is just a load of garbage that runs for that zero access. I'm going to delete this. And obviously if we scan now it will be gone. So let's have a look at that uh, C Windows directory and as you can see that file zero access is now gone and pretty much I would say we I would do some more tests and more scans but you get the general idea we're pretty much back up and running here but as you can see we've gone from a non bootable PC to a working PC and it's pretty clean and that's took me you know not long too long at all so I'm gonna call this one done I would do more scans as I said but you've got the general idea so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them and I'll be making more videos again in the future so uh, no more nuking and paving and no more formatting if you don't need to. Uh, okay, so thanks again. Bye for now.